Long before the advent of hotel and motel chains, boarding houses were popular stops for travelers who just needed a nice warm bed and a square meal. So it's hard to imagine that people all over the world plan vacation stops to a Tennessee boarding house. But that's the way it is when you're Miss Mary Bobo's in Lynchburg. Everyone knows Lynchburg, Tennessee is the small town home of world famous Jack Daniels Whiskey. The signs of that distinction are just about everywhere. But did you know that Jack Daniels is proud owner of another local landmark? One that also attracts visitors from around the globe. It's a beautiful old federal style building opened in 1908 as Miss Mary Bobo's boarding house. For many decades, it was a haven for road weary travelers. No one knows the history better than Lynn Tolley, who now oversees the place. Back in Miss Mary's day, there was no place to stay except in a boarding house. And there were several in the area, but Miss Mary's was so popular because her food was so good. So traveling salesmen would come through here like every couple of months and they'd always want to get to Lynchburg at night so they could spend the night with Miss Mary and eat some of her real good food. Now, people say all the time to me, I bet Miss Mary was a fabulous cook. She was a terrible cook. Her talent was she hired the best ladies in town to cook for her. So she knew who, who really did it right. Miss Bobo passed away in 1983 at the ripe old age of 102. So to preserve this local landmark, Jack Daniels bought it and Lynn, who's the great grandniece of the real Jack, was the perfect person to manage its transition from boarding house to popular dining only destination. Welcome everyone to Miss Mary Bobo's. I happened to be working for them at the time and I have a food background. They said, why don't you run Miss Mary Bobo's? So it was great because I'd eaten here my whole life as a child and knew Miss Mary very, very well. So I tell everyone I'm gonna last till I'm 102 just like Miss Mary because I'm eating the same food she ate. The house has been expanded over the years and now has nine dining rooms on three floors. There's always a sitting at one o'clock and usually another early one at 11. People seem to love coming in to the room and seeing a table full of food and they sit down. It's like going to grandmother's house, you know, for Sunday dinner 30 years ago when grandmother would cook everybody's favorite meat and everybody's favorite dish. At each table at Miss Mary's, we have a Lynchburg hostess. She gets everyone to introduce themselves, tell where they live, they're from all over, and then she explains the food and they help themselves to what's in front of them and pass to the left. One thing you should know up front, reservations are a must. Visitors from far away even book their meals weeks in advance. In one month, in the fall, we had guests from 42 states and 18 foreign countries to Miss Mary Bobo's in Lynchburg. I mean, we're amazed that that many people come. So we're serving this Southern food every single day year round. We have fried okra. And we know that people, you know, many people have heard of okra, but they haven't always had fried okra. So that's a lot of fun. Like this native New Yorker who just had fried okra for the first time. This is wonderful. Your I'll be making fried okra. You'll be making I'll fried okra? I'll be making fried okra. <laughs> I'm buying a cookbook. <laughs> Visitors are constantly amazed that you can't serve the world's most famous whiskey in the county where it's made. Well, actually, that's not true. You can serve it with a little creative cooking. In fact, we were just in time to catch Chris, the chef, adding about one shot per serving to these baked apples. Some folks like them, some want a straw. <laughs> some don't really care for them. This all varies. We have had hostesses requesting straws at the end of the meal, though, so the people could drink the syrup. It's wonderful in whipping cream that we top a piece of pie with. So when you're whipping your cream, put in a little sugar, and instead of vanilla, put in a little Jack Daniel, and it's just delicious. Even a few old-time country cooking recipes have been altered a bit in the name of health awareness. 
vegetable oil has replaced lard in cooking, for example. But if you're still apprehensive about indulging yourself, well, just think about the lady who ate here almost every day for 102 years. Well, I tell people if they're on a diet, well, Miss Mary lived to be 102. It finally killed her. So we think it's going to be okay if you have some good old country cooking every now and then.